All right, so I'm here at Self Made Gym in Costa Mesa. It's been a little bit of time since I've done a workout vlog, so I'm gonna do that today. The workouts for HPN Build have completely shifted gears. We're not focusing on a specific movement this month, but rather a goal. I'm taking what I learned at Exos, the world's leading performance training certification and program. I'm talking, these guys turn out half of the first round NFL draft class every year. And I recently completed phase three, the final phase of their training program, their mentorship, where I went to their headquarters in Phoenix along with Mark Lowliner. Three weeks we've spent learning, refining, and a year and a half of time in between each week to get this all down. So I'm incorporating that into my training for myself, of course, because what good is this knowledge if we don't apply it, but also for you guys for free in the HPN build workout. So I'm gonna take you through an HPN build lower body pull workout today. This phase, this month of March, right now, 2018, is all about hypertrophy. We are building a bigger engine. We're building more muscle fibers that I can then help you guys tap into for strength and eventually power if you're interested. So follow along this workout. Let me know what questions you have. And of course, click down below to get set up on HPN Build Workouts today. Let's go. Every workout starts with movement prep. We gotta get the muscles ready and firing for the workout that we're doing on that particular day. So this is gonna start with some foam rolling. We are gonna foam roll our calves, our hamstrings, our quads, and our middle and upper back. Activate everything and get ready for this workout. So we're gonna do some foam rolling first and then we're gonna even do some movements that I want you guys to do leading into this workout. Again, it's all detailed thoroughly with video explanation. Video explanation. So you know you are getting the best possible information. In the app, in the HPN Build and Burn app that you can download by clicking below. We're gonna get started with our movement prep right now. Okay, done with foam rolling. Now we're gonna move on to some single leg hip thrusts off of a bench and then finish up with some reverse lunges that are gonna lead us right into the exercise for the day. All right, now we are going to prep the upper body to remain contracted and static and stable during these stiff leg deadlifts that are coming up next. We're gonna use dumbbell rows for it, but we're gonna perform them explosively with lightweight. Sets of 13 this week, check it out. Okay, so this whole HPN build block this month for hypertrophy, we're not gonna be using regular deadlifts. I'm not gonna be focusing on all out weight, higher rep range, stiff leg deadlifts. So I'm not gonna be sitting into the deadlift like you would conventionally. I'm gonna attempt to keep all the tension on my hamstrings and glutes. I have 225 on the bar. I'm gonna do 13 reps, two it up. Keep in mind with these stiff legs, you do not sit into the lift. You don't thrust your hips downwards. You move them forwards and backwards just a bit to allow you to get the maximum range of motion out of your hamstring, but you don't go all the way down. If you have the hamstring flexibility to touch the ground with stiff leg deadlifts, I would advise you perform the lift on a step to still avoid touching the ground between reps. You should be under constant tension the entire exercise. What you wanna do to find your range of motion, Get in position, stand up straight, push your hips towards the wall behind you. Go down with the weight, and as soon as you can't reach any further, right now do this with no weight. As soon as you can't reach any further, that is the end of your range of motion. So, this is as far as my hamstring stretch. Anything further than this, I have to sit. That would be a conventional deadlift. With the stiff leg, we want to avoid that. So again, stand up straight, arms tight, back tight, just like you would do in the lift. Push your hips backwards towards the wall and reach down as far as you can. That's your range of motion. Any further, 
and you'll either have to let go of the tension in your back, which is dangerous, or sit at the knee. We want to avoid both of those. Try this in your workouts at home, even if you're not doing the HPM build. Great deadlift variation. All right, one more exercise left to go here. That's just calves. I don't know why I work these anyway, they never grow. I'm just kidding. I like having a balanced body, at least functionally speaking, if not aesthetically speaking. Having strong calves makes you a stronger squatter, deadlifter, and lifer. So I'm gonna hit calves, four sets, and then I'm done. I'll put a screenshot next of the actual workout, the full workout, in case you wanna try it. But as always, click below to download the HPN Build app. Follow along with me. Let me handle your workouts every day. I have state-of-the-art software, full exercise tutorials for every movement, and I'm here to help you along the way. I wanna help you guys reach your goals. 2018, it's our year, baby. Stay tuned, peace. So we have to do what it takes to demonstrate and prove to you our commitment to our customers' health and wellness every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year. We have to keep improving as a company.